All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. Yashirala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. This is another GMS collaboration once again. I'm with the brother Naquam. I'm the brother Gadal. And before we go any further, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Bahashim Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there on the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalom to all the Akims that's out there in the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh out of fear and sincerity of heart. You know, it's pretty much the name of this lesson is going to be called. This word is doing the damage. You see, we don't need guns. We don't need knives. We don't need staffs. All we need is the scriptures, man. It, this, this, this word, this knowledge of wisdom and understanding is the one that's doing damage to this kingdom, man. And got the elites worried. So bring out that first precept. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is ignorance of the world. Than weapons of war. Right, of what wisdom? It's talking about the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible, which you get once you fear the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. It says it's better than weapons of war, meaning carnal strength, man. You know, you got guys out there going out there in the highways and hedges with automatic rifles and pistols and staffs, you know what I'm saying, and all that, which all we really need is the word, man. Read it over again. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. That's right. You know. But, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Now, what's the good? This good is this truth, man. Us going out there on the highways and hedges preaching this word, man. But you, it only takes one, you know, uh, carnal, you know what I'm saying, individual. All right, aka agents to ruin the whole thing, man, so to speak. You know, because now they're over there, you know what I'm saying, with, with weapons, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, hey, that's a big old target right there. You know, like like uh, the scripture says, a little leaven if leaven if the whole lump, man. Okay? That was it on that one? God. Bring out that next one, Baba Kashaw. Jeremiah chapter 5. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, yep. behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. Right. The scripture says, okay, because you speak this word. The Lord told the prophet Jeremiah, because you speak in accordance to my words, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, man. And we're coming in that same lot. And that's talking about spiritually. And what is the people, brother? And this people would. And this people would. And what is wild when what does fire do to wood? It consumes it, it devours it, man. Alright? If it pretty much turns it into ashes. You know, I know a brother's uh, ever watched a fireplace, you know, where that fire is engulfing and consuming that wood, it pretty much uh, turns it into stubble. Read on. And it shall devour them. See, and it shall devour them, man. That's what this word is doing. See, that's what the word is doing. That's why we speak according to the Bible or the Bible only, man. You see? Because this word is the one that's exposing Esau, the so-called white people, beginning with their elites, and doing the damage to this kingdom, man, and his rulership by way of the prophecies. All right, so we don't need no guns. We don't need carnal weaponry, man. All we, we, all we really need is the scriptures, man. All right? The Bible. Bring out that next one, Baba Kasha. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Is not my word like as a fire? Yep. Saith Yahweh, mm -hmm. and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Right, and that's exactly what this truth is doing. All these are the false philosophies and doctrines that's out here. 
this word is this truth is like a hammer and it's smashing these other philosophies into pieces man that's why people get it messed up that's why they, they, they keep censoring brothers videos for no reason all right you got guys like uh vocab and these other guys that come up against us they getting cut up okay they get smashed to pieces with this truth and they can't take it man and that's all the words doing this thought this is all the spirit of yahweh by shima al and what it's doing to him man like it says in hebrews as to see you on the screen man it, it, it's uh it's sharper than any two-edged sword man all right so it, it cuts them up and they get fierce they get uh they get carnal man read that one more time Baba Kasha. jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29 mm -hmm. is not my word like as a fire mm -hmm. said yahweh yep and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces right the lord said it's not my word like a fire so this fire is either going to purify you or it's either going to consume you man you see so the people that are uh, not coming in the spirit of yahweh by shimmy all right they're getting devoured by the word man okay because we'll be calling them out according to the scriptures. Now, the elect of the nation of Israel, when they get called out, you know what I'm saying? When they hear the word, okay, it's going to refine them, man. You see? It's going to make them even better. You know? That was it on that one, my brother? God. Bring out that next one. Hosea chapter 6, verse 5. Therefore, have I hear them by the prophets... Mm -hmm. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Exactly, by the servants of prophets, done for the head of apostles and other bishops, and also the elders that taught our apostles, man. You see? For years, people been getting cut up with the word, man. And they still getting cut up to this word to the very day. All right? Once again, that's why, you know, brothers' videos are getting flagged. They're getting censored. Okay? The family of the word is on the horizon because they're getting cut to the heart. Referring to these elites, man. You see? All because we're bringing out the truth according to the Bible. Like the Apostle Paul said, Have I therefore become an enemy because I tell you the truth? And the answer is yeah. So this word is the one that's doing the damage. As a matter of fact, I got the definition of the word damage right quick. It goes into harm that's done to someone or something that makes them less successful. So the information that, uh, that we're bringing out, man, and then the, the lies that they put out, it makes them less successful because it's getting devoured by this truth, man. We're bringing out them strongholds by the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, and the truth, man, by the, uh, according to the Bible. That was it on that, brother? Nah, a little bit more. All right, my bro. And thy judgments are as the light that goes forth. Mm -hmm. Read that over one more time, Baba Kasha. Hosea chapter 6 verse 5. Mm -hmm. Therefore have I heard them by the prophets. Mm -hmm. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Right, because once we bring out, you know what I'm saying, the prophecies about uh, either they're going to repent or they're going to get judgment. You know what I'm saying? When it happens, man, that's blood off our hands, man. You know? Because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah is on us to warn our people before it's too late, before their judgment comes forth, man. Because the scripture says the Lord is known by his judgment, but before he, he brings out the judgment, he sends his service to prophets to warn you about it before it happens. That was it on that? God. Bring out that last one, Baba Kasha. Ephesians chapter 6. Hold on. Seventeen. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Slocky. All right, Slocky, for that slight interruption. Uh, uh, Gada, go ahead and read that last one again, Baba Kasha. Ephesians chapter six, verse seventeen. And take the helmet of salvation. Mm -hmm. And the sword of the spirit. Yep. Which is the word of the Most High. Right, so that's the only weapon that we're wielding is the scriptures, man. According to what the Bible say, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, man. So we don't need no carnal weapon. We don't need guns. We don't need knives. We don't need none of that. Only thing we need to go out there on the highways and hedges with and throughout our days is, is the scriptures, man. The word. 
Because that's what's going to keep us uh, stability in these bad times that we're living in, man. So the only weapon that we're wielding is the scriptures. Right? That was internet? Yeah. All right. So, Lord, when this is edifying through the spirit of Pagiha, Bashima, Shah, Bashima, Kakwatash. Lord, when to next time, me and the brother say Shalom. Shalom.